Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to ICF service this morning. I'm speaking to you from my garden in England, and Dario will be leading worship from Novi Sad, I think, and Samuel will be bringing God's word to us from Belgrade. We are truly a scattered fellowship, but nonetheless, we are still part of the body of God. God is our Father, and we thank and praise Him for all that He's giving to us. Even though we're going through difficult times in this pandemic, and we know that He is still on the throne, He is still sovereign, He is still in charge. And whilst we may find it difficult to understand, we thank God because we know that He is supreme and he should be number one in our lives every day, no matter what happens. I would like to start with reading some verses from Lamentations. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. So let us pray. And as we pray, we will remember Therese's husband, Boris, who's had an emergency appendicectomy and is recovering in hospital in Belgrade. Father, as we come into your presence this morning, we thank and praise you that we can say, great is thy faithfulness, that your mercies are new every morning, we don't have the old mercies dished out again. We have new, fresh mercies for each new day. And we thank and praise you for this. We thank you that we can meet together in this virtual church because we are family. We are part of your family. We are your children. And we thank you that you care for each one of us. And we want to pray particularly for Boris, Therese's husband, as he is recovering from an appendicectomy, pray that you will help him to recover fully, that there will be no complications, no side effects, no long drawn out recovery. We pray for him that you will speak to him in his hospital bed at the moment and that you will give Therese strength as she looks after the family and as they prepare to pack up to move their house, we pray that you will just be with that family and especially that they will know your mercies each day. We pray that you will help us as a fellowship to be encouraged and to encourage one another. And we commit ourselves to you now in Jesus' name. Amen. And now Dario is going to lead us in worship. So over to you, Dario.